In the first game of the SEC on CBS doubleheader, Bo Nix and the Tigers travel to Fayetteville to face KJ Jefferson and the Razorbacks. Auburn's won five straight over Arkansas, including last season's game when Auburn won by two points. Bo Nix had a passing and a rushing touchdown in the victory. Now both Auburn and Arkansas looking to bounce back after tough losses last week. And for more, let's welcome in CBS Sports reporter Jenny Dell, who joins us from Fayetteville, ahead of Saturday's matchup. Auburn coming off a loss to Georgia, while Arkansas coming off a wild loss to Ole Miss when Sam Pittman elected to go for two instead of kicking an extra point to tie the game with no time left. Jenny, what did Pittman have to say about his decision and the way the game ended last week? Obviously, he was displeased with the way that the game ended, but he said, listen, we didn't have any more timeouts left, so he said... When they scored a touchdown, he told his guys, stay out on the field. We're going for two. There wasn't even a conversation there about trying to kick a field goal. So he knew that they were going to do it, and he's, he's had success in going for two in that exact scenario before. So he felt confident in the team to do it. But overall, he said, you know, it, it didn't work out, and that's football. But he really used this week and, and leaned on his coaching staff. He said, and I'm using his words, uh, MFing our players isn't going to teach anyone anything. Our coaches understand how to communicate. We spent this week kind of talking through what happened last week, but moving forward, they're excited to get out there tomorrow. They're playing their first home game since September 18th. They've been on the road for so long. They're fired up to be here. 11 a.m. kick. They're just, just going to try to get this stadium packed out. So they move forward from the loss last week. Uh, Sam Pittman, the Hogs welcoming in Bo Nix and the Tigers. Auburn got smothered by Georgia's defense last week. Bo Nix sacked four times. He's only thrown one touchdown for the last four games. What did head coach Brian Harson have to say about what they learned from that game as they continue a tough stretch of games here? Yeah, not an easy stretch for them. And I was on the sideline for that game last week, and, and it wasn't an easy one to watch either. Final score, 34-10. They were happy that they got some points on the board there. But Brian Harson, he's a positive guy, and he's like, what are we going to do? We lost a game. That's dis disappointing, but that should fuel our fire moving forward going into this week. So they looked at the mistakes that they made, and, and there were plenty of them. And what they changed in practice this week was they made it more competitive. Coach told me that he doesn't care what your name is, how long you've been playing, how long you've been a starter. He wants this to be a competitive team. So even Bo Nix going up against TJ, I mean, there's going to be questions of, of who might get some opportunities out there, and it all goes based off of who practiced hard this week. We'll see. Auburn's won five straight meetings against Arkansas. Jenny, what's the key matchup to watch for there on Saturday? I think the key matchup in this one is definitely Arkansas's defense going up against Auburn's run game. Um, you see that their run game has, has suffered a little bit in the last few weeks, and they're really going to try to get that going. They have two players in particular in Jarquez Hunter and in Tank Bigsby who have rushed for 400-plus yards this season. So that's going to be the focus there, and they need to get that game going because they're – Receivers, to be honest, have struggled as of late. Uh, Bonex only has six touchdown passes his entire season. So Coach Pittman, he told me when it comes to Tank Bigsby, especially, we're going to have to gang tackle him. we got to get a lot of guys around him and help each other get him on the ground because Bigsby is that type of player. He's just a special big guy. And three of the top five SEC leaders in total tackles all play for Arkansas. So they're going to have their hands full, but that's going to be the focus there. All right, now let's get your keys to the game. How will this game be decided? We were talking about the receivers and the drop passes, and that's been something that the that um, Auburn has really been focusing on this week. And Bonex, he needs to get comfortable back there. He's he's struggled. You know, he's had some really good flashes of it, of his athleticism, and uh, he needs to go out there and be able to be confident and perform in the way that they know that he can. Uh, the only guy that he's thrown multiple touchdown passes to is Demetrius Robertson. So that that needs to change. Auburn has 22 drop passes this season. That's tied for third most in the country and the most in the SEC. And they had six drops against Georgia. So that's really a huge, huge focus for Auburn right now. I spoke to Bo Nix and he said they've been working on different drills this week to try to really fix that issue. And it's been said that it's just been a lack of focus on their offense. So they're really going to be um, striving to fix that this week. And also, it, it'll be interesting to see how Nix comes out and performs because as Coach Harson said, you know, not saying he's on a short leash, but they do have other quarterbacks that can go out there and perform. 
Jenny Dell setting the scene for Auburn, Arkansas. Jenny, thanks. We'll see you post game on Saturday. All right. Look forward to it. Coming up on Saturday, Auburn visiting Arkansas noon Eastern in the first game of the SEC on CBS doubleheader, followed by Kentucky at Georgia. See both games on CBS. You can also watch on CBSSports.com, on the CBS Sports app, and streaming live on Paramount Plus here on CBS Sports HQ. Pre-game, halftime, and post-game coverage. Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.